Yeah, okay guys, um, yeah, there you go, uh, we'll go out to the back door here, I'm doing a review here today about work boots because I have got a new pair of work boots and I want to show you what I have. Yeah, I'm at the back door, <coughs> excuse me for me, I'm hoarse, I've got the cold, uh, it is cold. Right, got these work boots, I'm at the back door, that's as far as I'm allowed into the house with work boots, believe it or not. Uh, maybe hem pack, but that's it. These are my old work boots, I've got the same again. Got these, done me 11 months. They didn't do the 12. Simple reason, I do 6 to 10 mile a night walking. A lot of walking, a lot of hard work. And um, the reason I'm doing this review is I've bought a lot of rubbish work boots in the past. Cheap supermarket type boots. Um, if you're not doing a lot of work, they do the job. But when you're on your feet, I suffer sore feet big time. So I've bought these. Um, these old boots, done 11 months, got them last year, um, or sorry, beginning of the year. It's now coming up to Christmas, so I'll say 11 months, just short of 12. Now, this is the box, sterling safety boots. That's the box you're looking for, and there you go, unboxing, <laughs> just like that. Uh, I've let a dog box it, and either you, and if you are, you're quite sad. Right, that's the sole, good you know, good sole, uh, reasonably grippy, not slippy, and they're not ones that carries a lot of dirt either. So if you're out walking into the house, you do well bring a bit of new lunch, you know. But these are good boots, easy, easy to lace up. But the most point is, if you have sore feet, you may not be Rockefeller boots or anything like that. If you're going to be in your feet 8 10 hours a day, these are the boot. Um, I have suffered sore feet over the years. I've bought a lot of rubbish. I've been, this is my second pair of boots. If they weren't good, I wouldn't have bought them a second time. Believe you me. So, there you have it. Take my advice. Sterling Steel. Hold on. Sterling Steel Safety Boots. That's the boot to buy. Being honest, I would buy them. I have recommended these to a few friends. There you go. Inside the boot black. And before I go, in the, back to my old boot. I thought it was great, less sweating, believe it or not. I added, I can't know why you can see it, a leather, shiny leather insole. Now, this was all told by an old cobbler. Well, he wasn't old. Cobbler betrayed in the business 90 years or 80 years, or whatever. It was handed down from his father to the put a leather insole in your boot. So, I bought an insole with fibre. I haven't got these new ones yet, but I cut down the sweating. These are good, comfortable pair of boots. They did my feet. Do get warm a wee bit, but not seriously warm. Um, they're not one hundred percent waterproof, but um, because they are leather. But good working boot, uh, good for truck driver in the lorries. If you're doing a lot of walking, loading lorries. Um, if you're working in a factory, in a shift, you know, business premises, these are the boot. If you go onto Sterling Safety Boot site, you get a lot of different varieties. These models here. There's a model in these ones. These are a hiker boot. These are the ones for walking. And um, hold on. Yeah. Before I go, there you have it. Look at it. 806 807 SM. That's the boot you're looking for. As you can see, I'm a size 9. <laughs> right. <clears throat> Before I go, size 9. If I was wearing cheap boots, they're size 10. They are a wide fitting, good fitting boot. So take care. Bye bye. Adios, I'm in a hurry, have to go to work, but that's the bit. Got a new pair of boots, and I guarantee you, if you buy a pair of them, you'll have good, happy feet. So there you are, have it. Take care. Bye bye.